In order to fall asleep quicker, it's very important to downregulate lasting at night. Before you go to sleep, spend 15 minutes slowing down your breathing to the point of air hunger. Breathe in and out through your nose. Focus on the airflow coming into your nose and focus on the airflow as it leaves your nose. And gently soften the speed of the air as it enters and as it leaves your nose. Really soften the speed of the inhalation as it comes into your nose and then allow relaxed and a slow and gentle exhalation. The whole purpose is to take less air into the body for about 15 minutes before sleep. This helps to stimulate the vagus nerve and this brings body and mind into relaxation. It's very normal during this exercise that you experience increased watery saliva in the mouth. Increased watery saliva in the mouth indicates that the body's relaxation response has been activated. We know of course that when we get stressed the mouth tends to go dry. So if you experience increased watery saliva in the mouth during light and slow breathing, it's a very good sign. The second factor that you might experience is that you feel a little bit drowsy. And of course, this, this is perfect because in order to have a deeper sleep, we need to bring the body into relaxation. And drowsiness is implying that we're activating the body's relaxation response. Very often, people are overstimulated. So much information they're exposed to during the day. Stress levels can be high. And if stress levels are high and the mind is racing and quite active, it's difficult to fall asleep so readily. Very important to down-regulate. And you can down-regulate by taking your attention out of your mind, onto your breathing, and breathing less air for 15 minutes, and then going to sleep. And of course, during sleep, your mouth should be closed. And if you have a propensity to breathe through an open mouth during sleep, it's advisable to wear tape. Now, the tape that we use is Myo tape. The reason that we use this tape is that it doesn't go right across the lips, but it surrounds the lips, bringing the lips together to help ensure nasal breathing. It's safe and it's effective. Nasal breathing during sleep with the tongue resting in the roof of the mouth is paramount for a good night's sleep. The second time that you might experience difficulty falling asleep is after having a few hours sleep. So for example, you go to bed at 10 o'clock in the evening, and you wake up at maybe two or three o'clock in the morning. You're lying there, you're half awake, you're half asleep. You're not quite awake enough to get up, but you're not quite exhausted enough to fall back asleep. So the tendency then is for anxiety to kick in. And anxiety is kicking in because of course, you're conscious that you have to get up at maybe 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. And if you don't fall asleep so readily, you're going to be tired when you get up. How do you help the body to fall back asleep again? Instead of lying there worrying and being anxious and thinking about being awake, bring your attention immediately from the mind onto your breathing. Slow down your breathing. Take your attention from your mind into your body. Disperse your attention throughout the body. Don't lie there thinking. In order to help to calm the mind, we're taking the attention out of the mind into the body onto the breath. Slow down your breathing and especially slow down the exhalation. So even after having a few hours sleep, you still need to bring the body into relaxation. We activate the body's relaxation response by focusing on a slow and gentle and prolonged exhalation. So as you lie there, focus your attention and slow down the speed of the air coming into your nose and allow really relaxed and a slow and gentle exhalation and keep bringing your attention back onto the breath, back onto the breath, back onto the breath, back onto the breath. The mind wanders off, bring your attention back onto the breath. This way, you help to activate the body's relaxation response and to fall back asleep more easily. And of course, we have to ask the question, why might you wake up after a few hours sleep? The factors that can contribute to this is faster breathing rate or snoring or obstructive sleep apnea. Faster breathing rate is influenced by how you are breathing during wakefulness. If you have a low bolt score, this implies a faster breathing rate. A faster breathing rate during sleep, the brain interprets that the body is under threat and the brain will arouse and wake up, wake you from sleep. So it's very important to learn slow breathing during wakefulness. Slow breathing during wakefulness will assist with slow breathing during sleep. How you breathe during the day determines how you breathe during sleep. So by breathing light and slow and deep during the day, 
you breathe light, you breathe slow, you breathe deep during sleep. This will reduce the risk of you waking up during sleep. It also, of course, reduces the risk of snoring and obstructive sleep apnea. And as a result, you can help achieve a deeper sleep and stay asleep for a lot longer, waking up feeling refreshed and waking up with good attention and good concentration. For many years, I woke up feeling very groggy. It was very difficult for me to focus, to have my attention on doing what I'm doing. When somebody asked me, how should you feel when you wake up in the morning? So how should you wake up in the morning? Well, ideally you wake up in the morning and you're feeling alert, you're feeling energized, you're feeling refreshed and you're in a good mood. When we have poor sleep quality, it's almost waking up as if we have a hangover. We have a hangover due to poor sleep. We are groggy, we're not in a great mood, we're not energized, and we have difficulty focusing, concentrating, and a reduced attention span. 